Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th of the Leco Daily Challenge. Uh, today's problem is Word Break 2. Let's get started. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, so I think, so I have solved this problem before, which is why it's a little bit weird, because I think, so the the problem with this one, or one of the issues with this one is that um, in the long, in the worst case scenario, you cannot do better than uh, proof force because, um, because, well, there's just, you know, yeah, there are, you could construct a scenario in which there are, um, like exponential one time, right? So that's the short answer. Uh, but I, I remember, which I was really annoyed at about this problem is that they have a couple of edge cases on here, uh, that makes it so that you need to do a little bit of optimization, uh, with respect to just making sure that something is not reachable because if, if it wasn't reachable then, um, because otherwise in theory, in theory, it's the same running time um, BFS or D DFS, uh, but using a queue or using recursion uh, and an implicit stack. Um, but in this part, it's a little bit annoying because uh, you have to root out that, um, even though technically they have the same uh, big O complexity, um, it's just like a really minor optimization that only mattered for like one or two test cases or however test cases, but one specific class of test cases which you know didn't really apply so uh, so i think for this i remember being really annoyed at it that's why i remember all this stuff but uh yeah let's get started uh, so basically this is a graph form you can look at each node as uh, the spaces between the characters and then each word dick is um an edge between uh the space between two characters so in here cat would be an uh an edge from from the space between the C and the space after the T, right? Uh, and then from that, we just try to find uh, all possible paths, which of course can be exponential, uh, but, but yeah, and therefore you can do it with breadth first search or depth first search. Uh, I, so the last time I did it, I did it with depth first search, but then I ran into this problem with non-reachable ones. So, uh, so, um, so yeah, uh, so I'm gonna use um, breadth first search or something like that uh or dynamic programming how we want to call it but just going forward uh this time around versus um versus versus doing it the other way with the depth search uh yeah and we'll see how that goes because maybe there is another weird cases for this one as well uh but yeah so now we construct a graph um I was going to import it, but I guess I don't really need to, uh, or in Lico they import it for you. Now let's construct a graph. If, uh, oh, it's off by one here, so I have to be a little bit careful. Mm, I think this is right there. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that's the graph. Basically, it just cr creates all the edges. Uh, should be okay. And then now we just have to uh, traverse the graph. And as we said, um, yeah, that could be exponential. So it's a little bit weird. But let's see if the the Q version or not. It's not even a Q. It's just. Uh, mm -hmm doing all at the same time. So maybe that would be a little bit better, but uh, it's kind of like DP, but not really, because you have to enumerate all the cases. So how do I want to think about this? Okay, so let's just say, um, yeah, maybe just a set on each one. So yeah, sets is equal to, um, Maybe even n plus one, but so we put so for i in range of n. Uh, let's start at so actually from here zero is the character that's before the c. So that means that one is the character before the first character that means that um n is 
No, that should be okay. And it should be the last count, I think. I'm just, just thinking about off by ones because I always do a better by it. But I have to be n exactly. That means that this is n plus one space uh, or number of sets. So, yeah. And then now. I think I did it backwards by accident. Let me let me actually now do this backwards so that we can uh, look at it a little bit better. So now, uh, for uh, previous previous index in graph sub i. Yep, okay. So what do we want, right? So that means that for every edge, um, Okay, so that means that there's an edge from S sub uh, previous index to I, I think. Could be I plus one. I have to double check that a little bit. Um, so then we want to add this to every set to now. Okay, so then set sub I at... So this is the string, but we have to get uh, combined it with the previous uh, previous words, previous words in set sub previous index. So then it's just this, which is the current word, plus uh, this is previous. It's kind of previous sentence actually. And I f this should be okay. Uh, assuming that, yeah, that should be okay, hopefully. We'll see. Because uh, the big case is going to be just the running time and maybe just typos. Uh, and then now we can just return set sub n to list, maybe. Uh, I think I have to remove the prefix of this, but that's... Okay, if it, run, if it works, then we can fix it later. Uh, who would have a typo on? Oh, four? Why do I have four? Whoops. Set chain size during iteration, really? Mm. Line 17. That should not. Hmm. Because we don't add anything to sets that previous index. So uh, let's see. Oop. That's just for debugging. Also, while we do that, let's. Do... Hmm. That shouldn't be right, but. I'm just also putting down test cases. Uh, okay. Hmm. Does that print anything? Okay, so zero, that's good. Oh, wait, no. Why is previous index zero? Did I mess this up? Now I is three, so three zero. That's weird. We don't. We should not update this at all. I didn't do it this way uh, previously. That's why I'm a little bit. Uh, have to double check this. We can also probably just do something like this. Oh, it's a little bit odd. 
Uh, oh, I have to. Hmm. Well, there's something weird about it, but that's okay. What is this thing? Maybe my <clears throat> well, I clearly have something a little bit messed up. That's why uh, it, it was modifying it anyway. But <clears throat> oh, I see. Because this is the same set. Um, I need to do something actually something like this because uh, it was the same uh, instance of uh, of the set that's why it was being silly okay there we go <clears throat> this is what happens when you're not careful I suppose uh, and now I don't need the list thing anymore I think let's print it out again uh, again we have to trim the the prefix empty spaces but that's okay because uh, we, we knew that we had to do that, but... Extra mm. left of for X. Okay, yeah, so definitely, as you, you may know, uh, just make sure you uh, get the syntax right. Just, even I make these mistakes clearly, so uh, yeah. Let's submit it. The only thing that I'm worried about is time limited to we'll kind of see if that happens. Um, so that'd be really annoying. Yeah, okay. So even with the going it this way, uh, we have to do this photo. And it's a little bit silly, to be honest, because uh, so this is an impossible case, right? Um, but it just so happens. And you can't wait. Like if this is an A, then you, there's no answer anyway, because you can't. It, it, it's exponential, uh, but because they want you to just return zero, so you have to add a little weird thing to make sure that um, it's all, it's that, yeah, you have to do a thing to uh, kind of uh, check that it is possible before doing this, which is just a silly thing, right? Uh, is I, I believe so. Uh, can with it is equal to that just booleans times n plus one. Um, so I guess we just have to do this again anyway, but or I have to do it again. You know, I made the same mistake last time, but with the first search. But okay, so for I in range of x one, can okay, visit. If not, so this is just a visibility thing. Oh, uh, I think it's uh, or empty. I think yes. And then now it went pretty fast, but it's just kind of silly, right? Like you're you're writing some code for just one test case that is not even a general case, or you know, like it's not a general ca enough case because if this is a like no oh, time out, check it out. Right, like if it's an A, then it does the same thing and it still times out anyway, right? So like, this is just like a crappy case to kind of make force you to write that function, which is kind of silly. Uh, anyway, so this is exponential in general, um, as we kind of showed with this, because because this is output sensitive and there's uh, like, you know, your max case could be the size of the output and the size of the output is exponential. So there's no, you can't really do better than that uh, in the general case. Um, though apparently you can do some optimizations like we did here with the can visit. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this problem. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, yeah, let me know. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.